The academic component we hope is that students are taking one or two college classes with students without disability. Um, and the, the, the sort of um, definition of these programs suggests that at least 50% of the time, they should be in inclusive academic settings. And then they're doing the other pieces, the other 50%, which should also be inclusive with people without disability. But um, so they'll take a class that say they take uh, intro to psychology or public speaking. Um, yes, the, they would They would typically, very often they are gonna to arrange to audit that class, meaning they will earn credit towards their program credential that say George Mason University, that their, their program offers a credential that their program um, offers. So it's not a degree, it's a non-degree certificate. Those go towards that certificate, but they would, they are not, they don't have, they don't earn college credits that they could apply to a degree program. So they're auditing it. And then the program staff, and hopefully, ideally, uh, in combination with the faculty member, they develop a modification plan. Um, instead of a 10 page paper, um, you know, John will, will do a, a PowerPoint presentation on what they learned about the developmental stages in early childhood, um, or they'll, you know, um, participate with a team member. And then there's a lot of academic support, tutoring, peer mentoring um, that's put into place 